Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a contact lens review, and I got all these contacts, uh, contact lenses from Camo Eyes, and I will leave the links down below of which ones I got. Um, they are affiliate codes, so if you do click on them and purchase, then I do make um, a little bit of cash. So thanks for your support. Um, I want to show you how I store them, what uh, cleaning stuff I use, and of course what they look like. Um, I will let you know that I have let these soak in contact solution for a full day. Um, you really uh, don't have to let them soak that long. Uh, six to eight hours is what I've heard, but don't quote me on that. Uh, do your research, ask your doctor, um, all that jazz. Okay, um, so I'm not going to be opening them up. I've already opened them up, but um, there are two ways that I got these contact lenses. Um, the first way is they came in this little vial uh, full of solution. There was one contact in here, one contact in here. And uh, the second way is they came in these little packs. And um, yeah, I just busted them out and uh, the pack does come in a box or yeah I think the vials came in this box as well so yeah they did they're just in a smaller box anyways um, I've got uh, five pairs that I'm going to show you and they are all stored in contact lens cases like this um, I've got mine color coordinated for the most part um, camo eyes was out of one of the lenses that I got or ordered first so they actually sent me a text message saying, hey, we're out of this contact, which one would you like? Well, I sent a text back and they never texted me back, so I just called that number. And a sweet man uh, answered the phone. He was very, very funny, very nice. Um, he was actually like, hey, we're out of the, that one, what one would you like? And I switched it over. Um, I wanted the red mesh contacts that cover your eyes completely, but they were out of those. So instead I got pink mesh ones, which I will show you. But um, he was nice enough to actually send me three um, lens cases to go with my contacts because of um, them being out. So I thought that was very nice of him. So um, I'm gonna show you these in uh, how comfortable they are from the least comfortable to the most comfortable. Um, so uh, I will leave on the screen what they look like in the picture of the website uh, or on the website and then I will obviously show you what they look like on me so I think me showing you what they look like on a person live so to speak is better than looking at the picture because some of them aren't that accurate so um, I don't know maybe do your research whenever you're looking into them to see if there's any other um, videos out there that show you what they look like on person rather than in a picture so um, yeah, I will show you right here what this um, one looked like in the picture versus what they're going to look like now. And I am using Renew, but you can get any uh, regular contact solution, I believe, and uh, use these. Now, I do not take my contact lenses and put them back in the solution after I've put my fingers in there and everything I actually redo the solution and everything because you got to keep these as clean as possible um, for one comfortability making sure there's nothing in there on them or whatever because nothing sucks worse than having a hair in your contact lens or a piece of debris it freaking hurts so these are the least comfortable of the ones that I got. I don't know if it's because if they're thicker or what, but um, I just put them on my middle finger like that. And the way you can see if it's upside down, if it's curling in on itself, I'll just put a picture here of what I'm talking about, the little diagram, to see if they're upside down or whatever. And it's really easy for me to put contact lenses in. I've been wearing contacts for years, like 20 years. Um, I don't wear a prescription. Um, I've just been doing it for cosmetic reasons, so. There's one. 
and I can just really feel these inside my eye. Um, my vision is slightly blurred as well. And when these are wrong side out, this particular pair, I can ex tell big time because it, they start to fold in on themselves. Okay, so these are called ice walkers and that's what they look like up close. And like I said, I can feel these big time in my eyes. They're extremely uncomfortable, but I still will use them for pictures or whatever. So um, I have been dressing up at work for Halloween and there's a ton of debris in my contact solution. You gotta make sure your hands are nice and washed. I use an antibacterial soap. And I'm just refilling the contact lens case so I can take these out. Again, this is what they look like. And I just store them in my little blue case all right the next ones that are these aren't uncomfortable they're just um, hard to see with because they're the pink mesh ones okay these are the pink mesh ones and my vision is completely blurry um, these are physically comfortable um, like I can feel them but they're not like where I feel like I need to blink a million times and the longer that I wear my contacts um, at first you're like "Ooh, this feels weird and I want to take them out um, I feel like they mold to your eye and all the little air bubbles get out so um, after a while like I'll wear this these contacts one of them with another contact for a like whatever look so and then I can see halfway but anyways um, these are the pink mesh ones and I'll put on the screen what they look like in the picture versus what they look like on yeah, a little scary I know I love contacts and I love wigs too um, I plan on investing in wigs in the future but contacts are one of my favorite parts of like dressing up it just changes the whole look you have to be very careful with contacts too because they rip very easily. I just ripped one of my pink ones and it's not the biggest deal in the world but it's still, you know, I spent money on those and that sucks. So, um, let's see, the next one I'm going to put in are my whiteout ones. And these aren't very uncomfortable. The last three pairs aren't very uncomfortable. They're just, <clears throat> it's hard to see through your peripheral. It's especially, I think, hard to do this with longer nails, so I've trend, trimmed my nails. Okay, these are the whiteout ones, and again, I will put a picture right here of what they look like um, on the website versus what they look like on your eyes. So these aren't the ones that completely like white out your eye. Um, Camel Eyes does sell those. So if you're looking for a particular kind, these are not them. In the picture they kind of do look like them, but they are not. And <clears throat> um, if I don't know what these are called, I pu I'll put them down in the description box so you know which ones, but I'll just use them as what color they are at first. Okay, these are my second favorite pair that I've gotten so far. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, here's a picture of what they look like on the website. And here's what they look like on. And these are very comfortable. 
I can barely tell that they're in there and they will just get more and more comfortable as, as time goes on because they'll kind of like mold your eye but my peripheral isn't that messed up so these are my second favorite pair okay these are my absolute favorite pair that I've bought so far um, for one I just love the colors they're comfortable um, yeah they're they're awesome I love them so here's a picture of what they look like on the website and here's what they look like on and these are just super fun I like these so much so um, when cleaning your contacts make sure you get the proper solutions and there's one solution that has like a red cap on it do not squirt that in your eyeball it will hurt your eye big time make sure you're looking at what kind of solutions you're buying because there's some out there that are for cleaning your contacts and so I think there's peroxide in there and you don't want to squirt that in your eye it will mess up your eye big time remember for Halloween looks too you can actually wear like I plan on wearing one of those black contacts with probably one of the green or white ones to kind of give you a scarier funner look um, just make sure you keep them clean sanitize your hands whenever before you put them in, um, make sure your nails are trimmed or if you need a special device to take them out or put them in, they actually sell those. So that is my experience with these camo eyes. Like I said, the links will be down below. And yeah, I hope you all have a nice day and I will see you all on the flip side. Bye.